what's up youtube hey so uh, i'm back with another video today um my last video kind of gave you guys a rundown of what i'm actually working on the uh 69 starcraft uh star trek uh v and uh so my first thing was obviously the transom transom was pretty bad um i got the new one in my last video i showed you basically what i had and um where um you know where i was at so since then i actually fiberglassed it uh put resin on it put like uh two coats of resin on both sides and everything the only thing i didn't really account for was um <laughs> how thick that resin actually got after a few coats so when I went to put put it in, um, I have my trim piece here, and this trim piece was here. And issue I was having is these holes. I don't know if you can see. So you got the hole in the trim piece here, and the hole in the actual boat. So it had like these nails that basically nailed into the transom. Uh, it was too tall. So once I got it set. I basically just shaved it with my sawzall. So it took just a, I mean, you could see it's, you know, quarter inch at the most uh, that I ended up having to shave off all the way across. So I'm gonna make that work. Uh, now, I know some of you are gonna say, well, this piece isn't, uh, isn't sealed now at the top, but give me a second and I'll show you where I'll be at. Okay, I'm back, and so basically what I did, if you could see that on there, is I put this caulk, clear caulk sealant. Um, I was uh, I put it, I put it over the whole thing, basically the whole top. I uh, basically just used this mold armor, 100% silicone, mold free. Um, supposed to be good for you know showers tubs kitchen i mean anywhere water so figured well this would be decent so didn't really find anything like for for outdoors or anything like that so but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and put this trim piece on and uh i'll be right back all right i'm back so got the trim piece on takes a little bit of finagling but i got it on there got all the uh <clears throat> got all the um the little uh nails to line up where they're supposed to be all that kind of stuff so now basically <clears throat> all i've got left as far as installing this transom is getting these little uh trim pieces riveted down this actually goes over a little bit rivet that down down here across the bottom you can see so you can see the transom here you know from here all the way across i painted it after i after i did the resin um i actually painted it uh i read that um so the resin is not very uh uv resistant so <coughs> excuse me so i ended up painting it uh, with an oil-based paint just to kind of protect the resin, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty solid. Um, now I just need to, I don't know if you can see down there, but so that little trim where it sits in, there's, there's holes there that need to be bolted. Now these four holes actually go all the way through the transom and come out right here, uh, these four. Uh, this one went all the way through. This one went all the way through. These, uh, hell, I don't know. They were just screwed on there. Um, but I think these three here and these four went all the way through. Um, I do have this piece, which is also going to be replaced. I just kept it for my pattern. But So basically, this is what was on there. Uh, but that's going to get replaced. Uh, once I got it set in there, I went ahead and cut my my uh, splash well drain holes. Um, one thing I decided to do, so I had the old transom. It was pretty rotted. 
Um, I didn't want to use it as a guide. I felt it was smarter to get that uh, installed and then drill this hole, drill these holes, you know, all that kind of stuff. Drill this hole here, here. So these holes actually went all the way through. Um, but yeah, because, you know, that's this too many damn holes to try and line up and then thing not fit right. So, but, uh, so that's where I'm at now. I'm going to run and grab some, I got to grab some rivets and some new hardware bolts and stuff. Let's see if I can find these, uh, should be able to find these local, the little, uh, splash well drains or whatever you call them. So, uh, but yeah, I'll be back. Um, this is where I'm at right now. I'm hoping to get this thing completely installed today so I can move on to other stuff. So I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back and uh, <clears throat> went and got some hardware and stuff and, you know, to, to rehook up the bowl or the uh, hook handles and got some new uh, drain hole grommets or whatever you call them. Uh, but while I was out, I kind of thought about it and I think my next step actually would be to go ahead and get this back piece, um, sanded down or stripped down and primed anyway. And I'm actually going to go ahead and do this in here. I, I just put this, uh, stripper on here. It says, let it wait about 30 minutes. So that's what I'm doing. I just used... This stuff here, from what I've seen online, this stuff's pretty good. So, we're gonna see what happens. Give it about 30 minutes, start uh, scraping it away. Hopefully, it's good. And then I'll hit it with my sander and should be ready to prime. So, I'll be back. Okay, guys, it hasn't been 30 minutes. It's literally been about 10, maybe 12 minutes. But I wanted to get a quick little video just to show you. This stuff actually works pretty well it's coming right off so it's actually working pretty good I'm just using a cheap little black scraper plastic scraper and uh, stuff is coming right off so I'm gonna get to work with this and I'll be back okay another quick update um yeah, so this stuff works really well. Um, I mean, it says 30 minutes, but it wasn't even 30 minutes, man. 15 minutes or so, and I was scraping up here already. So, um, I mean, as you can see, I got the majority of it. Up here, I wasn't really too worried about it. I just wanted to get the majority. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll just hit it with my sander real quick before I paint it. And then I've actually still got to rid of this back in and bolt it to the transom. Um, but I went ahead and put a second coat on some of this, like right in here. It's just kind of, kind of stubborn. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, I mean, shit, can't really complain. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get back after it and I'll be back. Okay, guys, here we go. I moved the boat out after I finished scraping, uh, sprayed it off and wiped it down and dude um couldn't be happier <laughs> uh i mean it, it that that uh stripper gel stuff works really well um now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hit it with my sander try to get it a little bit smoother any little straggler spots or whatever right down there and uh then it'll be ready to to prime all right all right, guys, I'm back. New day. Uh, just trying to get this thing buttoned up for the weekend. So this is probably about where I'm going to finish for this weekend. Um, I did get the splash well painted yesterday. Um, wife wanted to go out and take the kids out, so I didn't get to finish it all up. Um, got the back of the boat recoded. Um, I... Uh, just primed it, painted it black. Uh, my plan was actually to do the back of it black and then the sides 
um, a different color. But uh, at least with the back of it pretty much done, I can go ahead and start buttoning up everything else. Um, attaching those bolts down there on the um, <clears throat> on the on the transom and installing my new plugs here uh, for the drain holes um, so yeah I will uh, I'll update uh, next weekend all of that should be done and then I'll make another video next weekend on uh, what I'm gonna be working on and where I'm at and like I said, I'm just trying to document pretty much everything where I've gone and what I've learned and all that kind of stuff and see where it goes. So uh, I do appreciate you guys uh, taking the time to watch my little videos here. I know I'm not the, the greatest video editor or anything like that, but I do appreciate it, guys. And hopefully we get this thing done here pretty soon. I don't think it's going to take too terribly long now that that transom's back in and uh, my next big thing is going to be, uh, I'm going to pull the boat off, flip it over, try to get the, the, the bottom done, get it back on the trailer and start building this thing back up. So, all right, guys, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. I do appreciate it again. Uh, if you want to go ahead and subscribe and, uh, check me out, I should be uploading a video. Hopefully every weekend is my, my plan. So, all right, guys, thanks a lot. Later.